Hello again folks. This is Ed Eckley. I'm back. I want to show you a little bit of gold that uh, Sharon and I have been capturing through the last few years. This is a little bit of our collection from Arizona, Colorado, and a little out of California. Uh, there's a little over about, a, well it's about an ounce and a quarter in here. We just want to show you some of this nice big stuff. This is the stuff that takes a lot of work deep digging, uh, sometimes metal detecting. There's a combination in here. Some of this is dredge gold that we've actually pulled out of Alma up above Fairplay in Colorado and by Breckenridge. But this is just to kind of give you a little tickle about what it's all about because this is the exciting stuff folks. This is what we all want. This is the good stuff. Now, Sharon and I, you know, we've been members of the GPAA for a long time. Uh, pretty neat way to start out if you're just trying to uh, find some claims that you can go get on. they got some good properties and everything. If you uh, join a club, you get access to a lot of properties that you can go in and do your panning and sluicing. And this is the kind of stuff here, the bigger stuff you can catch with just almost any sluice. But uh, what we want to show you in this video is some of the stuff that we've been after with this uh, brand new Sidewinder sluice box. We run these little tiny uh, gold pieces through a spiral wheel because it's a whole lot faster than trying to pan that stuff down. And yeah, I'd like to say that I'm a pretty good panner, but that tiny stuff is awful tough, folks. You get it with the heavy magnetite and uh, a lot of your uh, heavier, heavier black sand that battles that tiny gold for position. Pretty hard to pan. This thing makes it a lot nicer because you can scoop your uh, concentrates in there and it'll, it'll trap it for you. It just makes it a whole lot quicker for your inspections. But what I've been doing is just kind of spooning some in here. We're down to the last little bits here of, of some of our concentrates that we brought back from that last uh, test of the stream model Sidewinder. We um, brought back enough to we had a good test. We ran about six buckets, five gallon buckets through there and we were just kind of in a decent little hole. We started to find some color over there right away. Found a nice little hole there along Clear Creek where somebody had been digging behind this big rock and we just dug down a little bit more. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do here is just take a peek at the size of this stuff. So you can get a kind of an idea. It's, it's awful tiny gold but it starts to layer and it begins to add up. The tiny gold is what's the most uh, available. It's virtually just about everywhere. It's so small that it's real tough to capture. And we've been capturing it successfully in the uh, Sidewinder. Let's take a little peek at what's going on back here. I'm going to shut this thing down and we'll get this, we'll get this cup out of here. This little uh, pan is kind of neat. Uh, this one is called the Fox. They got the newer Desert Fox models and all that. We bought this quite a while back. We've actually had this since 1996. We bought this thing from a fella down in Golden called Gold In Detectors. Gold In Detectors. Good friend of ours, old Bill down there. He sells lots of the best gold detectors that you could ever find and he's got lots and lots of prospecting equipment. Really nifty little things. He sells a lot of equipment and um, a great guy. If you want to grab you one of these wheels or get you a good metal detector or uh, you know, things like that, you should go down and see old Bill. Gold in detectors. Let's take a look at this, should we? I'm going to shut this pump down here. We've got a little catch tray back here that uh, we uh, periodically dump out and take a look. Let's see what we got in here. Let's get us a, let's get us a pan to pour this into. Okay, folks, we're about to see what's going on in that hole. Let's get some of this in here. Oh boy. Oh, yes indeed. This is what this is what we're all looking for. Now that stuff's tiny. These are teeny little flakes, but boy do they start to pile up. You know, wow. Not bad. There were some big giant mature tree roots down there behind that boulder. It's capturing some of this around that moss and everything. You know, I bet you. Wow. And yeah, that's probably a good six, seven grain weight in here, maybe more. Oh man. Well, I'll tell you, hey, I'm definitely going back to that hole. 
maybe that's where we'll set up that dredge. That uh, we've got a video we're going to be putting together here when this weather warms up a little bit. I'll be up there probably next week. We're going to run a three inch dredge. That, that'd be a good hole to go in behind that boulder. I think we'll go down in, see if we can get some little nuggets. Boy, folks, um, this is pretty uh, interesting stuff here. I wish I could tell you where that hole is. Maybe I will here shortly, but uh, we're going to get some first. Yeah, it's good talking to you again, and uh, keep in touch. It's going to be fun.